I'm Marcelo Hernandez, and I'm an Android developer on the Android platform team at Tinder. As part of the Mad Skills series on Hilt, I wanted to share with you how you can introduce Hilt into an existing code base that already relies heavily on Dagger. Migrating from vanilla Dagger to Hilt may seem like a scary and daunting effort at first, but thanks to a few solutions and workarounds provided by Hilt, hopefully I can encourage you to start the journey of integrating Hilt into your code base. Ultimately, you will want to migrate all of your existing Dagger modules over to Hilt's built-in components. A good place to start is by migrating all of your application-wide components, the ones that provide global dependencies such as singletons, to Hilt's singleton component. Hilt, by default, enforces that all modules install themselves in one of the predefined components. If migration to Hilt is not feasible in one pass, you can disable this check by setting the compiler option dagger.hilt. Disable modules have install and check to true. At some point in your migration, you will want to remove this flag in order to get better compile time enforcement with respect to your Dagger modules. Now say you have an application-wide component that lists out all of its dependent modules. As a first step towards migrating to Hilt, the modules can be moved into an aggregator module, which then gets installed into the singleton component. If the original component is used to perform field injections on other classes such as activities, fragments, or views, it can be converted into an entry point, which also gets installed into the singleton component. Using Hilt's Entry Point Accessors API, you can now get an instance of your entry point where you were previously creating an instance of your custom component. This way, any activities, fragments, or views that currently inject themselves using this component instead of Hilt can remain intact for now. As you continue to follow this process, you will find that your Dagger components will become Hilt entry points and your modules will take care of installing themselves in the proper Hilt component. This will at least get you to introduce Hilt to your code base where you can gradually migrate your code base entirely over to Hilt. One of the next steps I would recommend will be to update on a feature by feature basis, your activities, fragments, and possibly even views that require field injection to use Hilt's Android entry point annotation rather than relying on explicit self-injecting one would normally do via a custom Dagger component. After fully migrating to Hilt, your custom Dagger components and or entry points can then be deleted once they are no longer referenced anywhere, and all Dagger modules will be installed in the corresponding Hilt component. That was my tip on initial migration to Hilt. Coming up next on this Mad Skill series is a live Q&A on Thursday where the Android team answers your questions on introducing Hilt. You can ask your questions now using hashtag AskAndroid on Twitter.